Yeah. And so I'm, that's why I'm like, I like him. So anyways, I'll take Pats all the way. I think they kill him. I think the, I think his game plan against Mariota is going to destroy him. Because I've seen that. I've seen it. Yeah, and I I think that Tennessee was extremely lucky to get out of Kansas City with a win. That everything, you know, the Chiefs really kind of fed into that. Mm-hmm. You know, the the losing six home playoff games in a row now. The Patriots don't do that. No, the Patriots Patriots handle business. They're well coached. Obviously, quarterbacks Mariota or Tom Brady taking Tom Brady, taking Tommy Brady, and so I think they cover even though that spread's huge. Um, next one is the Jacksonville Jaguars at the Pittsburgh Steelers. Your early game on Sunday. Steelers are a seven and a half point favorite. What do you like there, sir? Man, this one I have bounced back and forth all day looking at different stuff, but I am going to say the Steelers win by ten. So the Steelers cover here. Oh, you like Steelers to cover? I, I, I'm going to go Steelers to cover. I think Steelers win by touchdown, so I'll take Jags. I'll take Jags plus seven point five. I like that. I like that point five. Getting that is pretty. Mm-hmm. Good. I like that. Uh, yeah, but I mean, I think the Steelers still win by a touchdown. But I think the Jags defense is going to be amped because uh, they heard uh, Mike Tomlin had a press conference where he's talking about. He, I can't. I haven't seen it yet, but I heard about it where he knows. Oh yeah, it's coming down to us and the Patriots. He says he's, he like he says something to that effect. Okay. So Jaguars got that bulletin board stuff. I still think Steelers win. And is does this come down to just the quarterback is so different? Like Roethlisberger is much better than Blake Bortles. Yeah, is that? I mean, same. Thing. I mean, we were talking about the same thing with like Thomas, you know, Tom Brady with Mariota. I mean, it's, it's that's, so different. that's where I'm going with um, the. I'm going with the quarterback and the experience here. Jags, they're they they've had a great year. They won a playoff game, but. You know, I think the party's over for them this weekend in Pittsburgh. I'm rooting for them. Well, I mean, I know you're betting on the Steelers, so I know yeah. you're not rooting for yeah. them. But I mean, I'm rooting for the Jags. I, I think it's cool. Yeah. The uh, And, uh, you know, they did play earlier this year in, like, week five. And the I Jags, watched that. The Jags beat them, like, 31-9 to nine or 30-9. I watched that. That uh, defense. Completely demolished them. Big Ben threw five picks that day. And I think he's going to come out ready to go. And a defense Antonio man, a defense Brown will be back. Nasty. So, and the final game of the weekend is the Saints going up to Minnesota at the Vikings. Vikings are a four-point favorite at home, which is pretty standard in the NFL is to get three. So they bumped it up one more point. But I am taking the Saints in the upset here. I'll go uh, Drew Brees yeah. over Teddy Bridgewater. I think we're going to – no, it's Keenum. Or Case Keenum, yeah. My fault, Case Keenum. Either way, yeah. right? I mean, I actually Case Keenum has played pretty well. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. Like, this is a tough one for me. I think it's probably this might be the toughest one for me, just because I actually really like the way I really like the way Minnesota plays. Um, I like uh, I like the uh, I like the, the, the defense. It's like it's like defense run the ball. They don't make a lot. They, they don't. They hardly make any mental mistakes. Zimmer's been a really good coach. Uh, you had to be. I mean, really, Case Keenum is your quarterback, and like the dude's been a journeyman backup, and now all of a sudden he's your starter, and he's playing like pretty well. They had their receiver, um, gosh, what's that receiver's name that kind of came up really big? Um, I can't remember his name, but the the uh, the slot guy, um, whatever his name is. But anyways, like uh, oh, T- uh, Talene or whatever. What's oh yeah, name? Adam Talene. Talene. He's huge now, so he yeah. he needs to like a top DraftKings guy all year and everything. So I'm gonna take I'll take Vikings minus four at home. Um, I like him. I mean, I like the defense, but uh, would I be surprised if Breeze comes out and and uh, wins? No, because I think Breeze I think Breeze is clutch, and I think Sean Payton's a coach, and I think we said I think we said last week the uh, Saints would be stupid to let Breeze go. They need to sign that guy. They just need to sign him to the rest of his. However long they think he's going to play, they need to sign him for. Him. Yeah, need give him. I think you give him one more five year contract. He probably doesn't play that five years out. I don't think so. But I think you give him a four or five year deal uh, just to keep him in town. Don't let him go somewhere else and come back there and beat you. Traded away. I mean, they traded away Brandon Cooks, and the offense didn't miss a beat. And actually, the offense was a little bit slow to get started, and then they adjusted and they run the ball more. Really, they didn't run the ball very well last week, but they ran the ball a lot, and what that did was that opened it up for Breeze. 
just boop and I don't know. Like the way he plays, man. Like Drew Brees a lot. So. Yeah, I, I love Drew Brees. So there you go. Show two now in the books. Uh, make sure, like we said at the beginning of the show, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, interact with the show, post things, what you like, what you don't like. If there's a topic you want to hear, if you want to hear us debate top ten quarterbacks of the NFL of all time, post it, and we'll do a show about it eventually. Uh, oh, that show's coming. It's coming. So, you know, if you got a show you want to hear about, you know, maybe top ten Kansas City Chiefs of all time or something, I don't know, just post it, let us know. Tell your friends about it. Get them to like the Facebook page. Follow us on Twitter. We want to be very interactive with you guys because without people listening, we don't get a show. Yeah, and also we're not. I don't think we're opposed to bringing guests in, having them chat up, and everything. No. So we've had a couple people say that they'd like to come on the show, and you know, kind of once we get rolling and get in a the rhythm, then we'll uh, we'll get some people and and have some guests on. Yep, no problem. So, all right, everybody, everybody have a good week. Let's watch some football this weekend, and uh, we'll see you guys later. All right. Have a good week.